everyone, welcome to Live Your Impressivity TV show. I'm Alex Bodita and I'm so excited to welcome you to today's episode where we're talking about three journaling prompts for self-love. If you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button below, hit the notifications bell so that you hear about my new videos every time that I post and make sure to share this video with anyone that needs to hear more about self-love. So before we dive into the journaling prompts, I want to make sure that you know when you need a little bit more of self-love. Well, literally anytime, because self-love is so important for our foundation of how we feel and how we show up in the world. We tend to give so much to the outside world, so much of our energy, so much of our time, and we sometimes forget that it's important to also feel in the space that we have inside of us. How else are we going to be able to share our love with others if we don't have it inside of us? Imagine that our self-love sits in a nice, beautiful cup and every time that we are compassionate, every time that we forgive, every time that we do an act of kindness, we give a little bit of that love to other people. So it's important to also find ways to fill that cup back up. It's important to find maybe an activity that really makes us fulfilled or maybe remember what are the ways that we are so amazing. Our self-love tends to also decrease and we feel like we are running on low battery every time we have some negative talk in our mind or every time that we have low energy and when we feel overwhelmed, burned out and we need a lot of rest. Personally, I know that whenever I feel tired and exhausted, it's a sign that I need to complete and fill up my cup with self-love and self-care to make sure that I can be back up and running. Of course, the first step is to understand and be aware of when you need more self-love. Of course, it's important to cultivate self-love all the time and to nurture ourselves with the same kindness and care and compassion that we show to others. However, sometimes our inner self and our bodies tend to give us red flags when we are running on low self-love batteries. So it's important to pay attention. And that might be when you are feeling tired, exhausted, maybe when you get triggered easily, when you get angry and you start yelling at someone, or maybe when you just burst into tears out of nowhere and it's really exhausting to do even the smallest activities during the day. Those are signs that you need to boost up your self-love practices and to bring a little bit more attention to how you treat yourself. It's normal that we get so trapped into running every day, into accomplishing our goals and to put ourselves to the side, but we want to remind ourselves that it's important to take care of our health and to boost our self-love on the most frequent and constant basis. So, if you are a fan of journaling and you want to have a boost of self-love with pen and paper, then I invite you to use these following journaling prompts that will help you to boost your energy and to bring an extra self-love to your day. Make a list of 10 things that you love about yourself. We beat ourselves up so many times and we tend to make ourselves feel guilty, we judge how we act and how we talk and how we move throughout the day, so it's important to also remind ourselves of our strengths. We spend so much time focusing on our imperfections and what we're doing wrong, but we don't put that much attention into being proud of ourselves and being impressed with the small things that we do every day. So taking the time to write down 10 things that you love about yourself is really going to give you a reminder of why you are such an amazing, incredible, impressive person and why you need to be more loving and kind to yourself. 
The second exercise that I want to share with you when it comes to boosting your self-love is a visualization exercise that is also going to give you a starting point for this writing exercise. So imagine you are a leaf in a tree and you are blossoming in the spring, you become beautiful and green, and then the wind comes and it might blow you away or it might be really just making you shake all the time and it gives you a lot of cold air and storms and rains and so many challenges and difficulties, but you're still hanging on and you are a leaf that then goes into being yellow and you know you are then floating and taking another um, journey and all this visualization of you being a leaf is going to help you look at your strengths so you might think alex are you crazy how do you mean i'm a leaf well you will have to practice your imagination with this one but trust me it's really going to be helpful for a little bit more self-love so you are this leaf that goes through so many challenges and difficulties, but you are overcoming them. So imagine that you are going through all of this and you're still surviving, you are strong and you will blossom right back in the spring. What are your strengths? Just like this leaf, you are also going through many difficulties and challenges and you don't take time always to acknowledge yourself and to understand that you are gaining some experience and new strengths with each and every challenge. Now is a good time to reflect and sit down and write in your journal what are your strengths and what challenges you have been overcoming that have reinforced your strengths and make sure that you acknowledge yourself. This is really about giving you that love and care and kindness because you are really overcoming some tough stuff and you're surviving. Number three, this journaling prompt is a little bit more simple, but it's again, a great reminder for boosting your self-love and the image that you have about yourself, whether it's about low self-esteem or you need a boost of confidence, this is really going to get you back up and running. Think about and write what is your biggest accomplishment? What are you proud of? What is something that you have done that nobody else thought you could? Or maybe something that you have exceeded your own expectations and you are really, really proud of yourself. Take this time to think about and journal and really bring that emotion of excitement and motivation back into your heart because it's really going to give you a boost of self-love and it's going to make you feel like you are ready to conquer the world once again. So this is it. Here are my three journaling prompts for boosting your self-love. I can't wait to hear which one is your favorite, which one are you trying out. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come back for more videos on journaling, dancing and having an overall impressive life. Sending you lots of love. Until next time, stay impressive.